On the whole, we all feel that we know what to expect from the varying landscape, structures, and weather formations that develop around our world. But every so often, nature decides to do something completely unexpected and out of the ordinary. Colorful rivers, weird shapes in the sky, and much more. Let's begin. Here are the top 15 strangest natural phenomena ever seen. Number 15. Tidal Bore, China the Qingtang River, which is also known as the Tsientang River, flows across eastern China, where it passes a 285-mile route and into the East China Sea to the south of Shanghai. It's a hugely important commercial link in the region, and it has been for centuries. But the other thing that's made this river important in the history books is that it's also the location of the largest tidal bore on Earth. Normally, of course, water flows down to a river into the sea, but there's a point at which the rising tide of the sea is able to overwhelm that and cause water to flow upstream. The earliest record of this kind of event in order to help visitors arrive on time to see it was written almost a thousand years ago, and it was just as impressive then as it is today. When conditions are right, the boar, which is known locally as the Silver Dragon, can reach a height of 30 feet and travel along the river up to 25 miles per hour. Other events can make it seem even more pronounced, though, and in August of 2013, Typhoon Trami caused the bore to swell to more than twice its usual height, which broke flood barriers along the river and injured a number of spectators who were waiting for their chance to see it. Number 14. Frozen Methane Bubbles, Canada When temperatures plummet in the wintry months, it's not too uncommon to see a lake or river that's completely frozen over. But there's a bizarre phenomenon that takes place in some of them where if you look down, it appears as if you're looking at bubbles that have been suspended in time. In fact, that's actually what you are seeing, and it's a fascinating insight into a process that takes place all year long in most of the world's lakes. Lake Abraham in Canada is a great example of this effect, and it's been seen in late January and early February of each year. Lakes are, in many ways, the junkyards of nature, where dead animals and plant life sink to the bottom where they begin to decompose. This process releases large amounts of methane, which is usually released into the atmosphere above. But when the bubbles form when ice is developing in the water, the bubbles become trapped. Lake Abraham just so happens to be a place where the ice forms quickly enough and that large amounts of methane is released at the right time to combine perfectly for the resulting ice to be crystal clear and give a great view of the bubbles. And it is no wonder that visitors travel from far around to see this spectacular sight for themselves. Number 13. Fall Streak Hole The way that clouds form depend on a number of different factors, such as temperature, pressure, moisture, and many more. But even then, there are some rare and unusual phenomena that most people won't ever have the chance to see for themselves. One of the strangest is called a fall streak hole. They are large, circular, or elliptical gaps that form in dense cloud cover that, because of their odd appearance, have often been mistaken for UFOs. False streak holes can form within cirrocumulus or altocumulus clouds and are a result of the way water behaves in certain conditions. They begin when water within the clouds is below freezing point, but because ice crystals have yet to form, it remains in a supercooled state. At some point, an ice crystal is added into a cloud, such as when an aircraft passes by, and this not only causes more ice crystals to develop, but also for the water droplets surrounding them to evaporate. It's this sudden removal of water from a wide area that causes the hole in the cloud cover, and if it was a plane that triggered it, there'll often be a ribbon of ice crystals that follow in its wake. Number 12. Caño Cristales, Colombia Located in the Serrania de la Macarena mountain range in Meta, Colombia, the Caño Cristales, which was first discovered by farmers in 1969, is a tributary of the Guayabero River and is arguably the most beautiful river on the planet. With a name that means the Crystal Channel, but also is known as the Liquid Rainbow or the River of Five Colors, the fast-flowing water carved through the coarse quartzite bedrock and as a result, there are a number of rapids, waterfalls, circular pits, and other features not seen in many rivers. What's truly strange and unusual about the Caño Cristales, though, is the variety of plant life that grows in it and thrives within the fast-flowing water and the nutrients this provides. One particular species called the Macarania calvigera develops a rich red hue, while others add almost every color of the rainbow to its bed throughout the year. There's no river that's anywhere near as colorful as this one, and you can only imagine the surprise on the faces of the farmers when they first saw it. Number 11. Sailing Stones, Death Valley, California 
There's a lot that we still don't know about the processes that take place in deserts, but one of the strangest that's only been recently explained is the phenomenon of sailing stones. It's something that can be seen in deserts around the world, but is particularly prominent on the racetrack Playa Dry Lake in Death Valley National Park in California, and is where a number of stones and rocks are nestled, motionless in the sand, but with long trails behind them seemingly indicating vast distances that they've traveled. There have been a number of suggestions to explain how this happens, from powerful winds to interference by otherworldly beings, but with the use of GPS units on rocks and extensive research, the answer is arguably just as impressive as anything anyone came up with. At nighttime, temperatures plummet in Death Valley, and particularly during the winter, there's moisture in the air. It freezes on the desert surface and creates a wide but thin ice sheet that gently lifts the stones above the ground. At this point, they remain in the same position, but it's the next day when the ice sheet, which is floating in a shallow pond, begins to melt that the movement happens. The reduction of friction along the desert floor along with the pressure from the wind allows the stones to move across the sand and leave grooves in their wake. Number 10. Fairy Circles, Namibia In the arid grasslands of the Namib Desert, which are both in South Africa and in Namibia, there's long been a strange phenomenon that has stumped researchers across the globe. Known as fairy circles, they're circular patches of land where nothing grows and can measure between 7 and 49 feet across usually happening in particularly arid places where only one type of grass grows. Research has also found that the circles seem to pass through life cycles of their own, in some cases up to 60 years, and they eventually mature and die, after which grass will begin to grow where they once were. To make things even stranger, this was something that was only believed to happen in this particular region of the Namib Desert, but then in 2014 similar circles were found in part of the Pilbara region of Western Australia. Despite the interest in them, the scientific community has yet to reach a consensus about the actual case. There have been a number of theories that suggest they are to do with certain species of sand termites, but the range of the circles and habitat of the termites don't really match up. And there's another theory that it has to do with the way the grass absorbs the water from the surrounding area, but again, this is still to be proved. For now, though, the best explanation lies with local legend, which says that the fairy circles are actually the footprints of their gods, and that the circles themselves contain the faint remnants of magic within them. Number 9. Blue Volcano, Indonesia When you think of what you'd expect to see during a volcanic eruption, the main image that comes to mind is orange or red lava bubbling away with huge amounts of smoke and gas. And those are undoubtedly the colors that are found at most volcanic events. It's not always the way, though. The Ijen Volcano Complex in East Java, Indonesia has become renowned as one of the most unusual volcanoes in the world. During the day, there are stunning views across a half-mile lake which has perfectly turquoise waters, but it's at night when it truly comes into its own, because it becomes lit up by electric blue flames. Huge numbers of tourists make the almost three-hour hike needed to reach the crater to see this phenomenon, but it's a journey that's more than worth it. The blue flames are made by sulfuric gas that's burning from the extreme temperatures, in some cases the flames which emerge from cracks in the ground at 1100 degrees Fahrenheit can reach up to 16 feet high. And there are pools of blue flames too where the sulfur gas is condensed into being a liquid but is still on fire. Number 8. The Stone Forest, Madagascar Madagascar is well known for being one of the most unusual places on Earth, thanks to the countless plant and animal species on the island that aren't found anywhere else in the world. But the geography of the place is equally as impressive. There are only a few places in the world that have stone forests, and the one at the Singi de Bimaraha Strict Nature Reserve in the west of the country is the best of them all. The tall structures, which are called Singis, were originally karstic plateaus, which means they were made of soluble rock like limestone, and over tens of thousands of years water has passed over them and carved most away, leaving the tall, bare, and often razor-sharp sculptures behind. Some of the Singis are as tall as 230 feet and are incredible to see. It's no wonder that they were given their name, which translates to mean where one cannot walk barefoot but it seems this warning only applies to humans. The stone forest, despite lacking much vegetation, is home to a number of species, including lemurs, which love jumping from rock to rock. Number 7. Catatumbo Lightning, Venezuela Usually, when a powerful thunderstorm develops, you might expect to see several flashes of lightning, some of which will touch the ground. 
Not all storms are created equal, though, and there's a place in Venezuela that's known as the lightning capital of the world, where not only is there an electrical storm between 140 and 160 nights per year, but ones that last, on average, 9 hours and produce between 16 and 40 strikes per minute. It's called Catatumbo Lightning, and it develops over the mouth of the Catatumbo River, where it meets with the Lake Maracaibo. It's a phenomenon that's occurred for centuries, with records detailing it from ancient cultures, but still to this day no one is entirely sure why it happens to such an intensity. One of the factors is believed to be the unique geography of the region, whereby winds blow across the lake and the surrounding swamps and are forced up against mountain ranges on three sides, which cause friction and electrical charges and are further destabilized by mountain ridges. Others have suggested, though, that the presence of large amounts of uranium in the bedrock and methane beneath the lake could also contribute to the process, but there's clearly a lot to learn before anyone can be certain. Number 6. Marble Caves, Chile The landscape throughout South America is some of the most beautiful you'll find anywhere on the planet, but if you're looking for a truly unusual place to visit, then the General Carrera Lake in Patagonia should be the top of your list. The lake, which is filled with glacial meltwater, is a stunning blue color and is ideal to kayak over because it's so calm. And tantalizingly close are the unbelievable marble caves that seem to jut off in every shape and direction possible, and are simply ablaze with color. This is about the purest you'll see marble in nature, as it's only been polished by the clear water of the lake. This has been happening since the glaciers last retreated around 6,200 years ago, and has seen the formation of tunnels, caves, and huge columns. It was the marble near the surface of the water that dissolved the quickest as the fluid seeped into the naturally occurring cracks, which were then widened into fractures and then worn away. You could easily spend days and days exploring the intricacies of it all, and it's because of such a specific set of circumstances that you won't find anything quite like it anywhere else in the world. Number 5. Lake Hillier, Australia now, usually you'd expect the water of a lake to be a shade of blue, or perhaps even green, but there are a small number in the world where it's on a completely different part of the spectrum and is actually pink. One of these is Lake Hillier, which is on Middle Island, on an archipelago off the coast of Western Australia. The lake itself is 2,000 feet long and about 820 feet wide, and is surrounded on the shore by a thin ring of paper bark and eucalyptus trees. The first written records of the lake date back to European expeditions in 1802, when the captain of the ship was just as bemused by its color as visitors are today. For a long time, it was a complete mystery why the water would be this way, and there were suspicions it was something to do with the vegetation on the island. The fact that other lakes have similar plant species near them and don't have pink water put an end to that suggestion, though, and a further unexpected effect is that the water retains its pink color even if it's collected and taken from the lake and will add its pinkness to any other water that it's combined with. Because of its location, the lake has an extremely high salt content, and this is the root cause of its color. While the water is virtually inhospitable for most animal species to permanently live in, there's a species of microorganism that thrives there, which is red in color, and they're present in such numbers even within the salt crust that lines the lake bed that their color is imbued throughout. Number 4. Desert Roses Deserts are usually associated with sand dunes, animals that have evolved to survive in dry environments, and plants like cacti that have also done the same. But with such extremes of temperature and sandstorms that act against objects in similar way to rubbing them with sandpaper, the conditions in deserts also give rise to a strange phenomenon called a desert rose. Made of gypsum or barite, they are incredibly complex crystal formations that only ever develop in arid and sandy conditions, and originated when shallow water basins first began turning into deserts. Made up of flattened plates with large grains of sand within them, they take on the appearance of rose blossoms and can be anywhere between the size of a pea to more than four inches across. Furthermore, they can form as individual roses or clusters instead, and they can be enormous. The largest on record was 39 inches tall and weighed more than a thousand pounds, but there's no reason they can't be even bigger. They're some of the most surprising and beautiful things to come across in a desert, and it's no surprise that in some places like Tunisia and Algeria, they're sought after as collector's items that make up a significant part of some communities' incomes. Number 3. Blood Falls, Antarctica 
Because of how inhospitable the continent is, there's still so much that we have to learn about Antarctica, but even the things that we do know make it one of the most interesting regions on our planet. In 1911, Australian geologist Griffith Taylor was conducting a survey in what is now known as the Taylor Valley, in Victoria Land of East Antarctica, where he made an astonishing discovery. There's a waterfall there that flows out of the Taylor Glacier and on to the permanently ice-covered West Lake Bonnie, but instead of being made of perfectly clear melted ice, this water is a deep blood red color. It almost looks as if the glacier is bleeding, but there is, of course, a complex cause for this phenomenon. For a long time, it was believed to be because the water contained red algae, but recent studies have found a different cause altogether. Around 1,300 feet beneath where the waterfall emerges is a subglacial pool that was filled with seawater when the glacier was formed around 5 million years ago. With high levels of ferrous ions within it, the water hasn't frozen and instead remains supercooled, and this allows it to freely flow out. The red coloration only occurs just before it's seen at the surface, because it's the exposure to oxygen that affects the iron compounds. Number 2. Eye of the Sahara From ground level, it's hard to truly have a grasp of the shape of the landscape around us, and it's only when we're able to see the imagery from above that we realize our true size in the world. There's a place where this really becomes clear in Africa, where people have visited for many thousands of years, but it's only with recent technology that we've been able to appreciate the true beauty and mystery surrounding it. It's known as the Rishat structure, and it's on the Adrar Plateau of the Sahara Desert in the northwest African country of Mauritania. Circular in shape, it's a geological dome that measures 25 miles across, and it's been eroded in a way that exposes various different layers of sedimentary rock in concentric rings. The main theory surrounding its creation is that it's the equivalent to a blister on the Earth's surface, where a mound of igneous material breached through the crust below and collapsed back down again. This has resulted in countless interesting and unusual rocks scattered across the entire structure. But that's not the only interest of the site. Amazingly, it's also a brilliant place to look for artifacts from the Stone Age, which proves that humans have been interested in the site for thousands of years. What's even stranger about this is that the original visitors wouldn't have had any clue how it looks from above. And from the ground, the differences in gradient are barely enough to realize you're even in a defined structure like this. Still, it was the rocks that drew people there, and in many ways is what draws people there today, meaning this is truly a rare place in the world that connects the interests and curiosities of our earliest ancestors with those of ours today. Number 1. Lenticular Clouds When air moves across the surface of the planet, it encounters numerous obstacles, which force it to go over or around them, and leaves small eddies and areas of varying pressure in the sheltered spots in the same way as when water flows over a riverbed. When this happens with large regions of stable, moist air that pass across a large eddy that's formed behind a structure like a mountain, atmospheric standing waves may form. And while you won't directly see these, they can create some of the strangest patterns in the clouds. One of the more unusual formations that develop as a result of this are called lenticular clouds. And they require such specific circumstances to happen that you'll never see them above flat land, and only next to large structures, such as mountains or on occasion tall skyscrapers. It's their shape that's truly bizarre, because they can look like lenses or saucers, and this tends to unnerve large numbers of people who haven't seen them before. In fact, there's a provable correlation between the appearance of lenticular clouds and an increase in the number of UFO reports in an area. But beyond the initial panic, most people are able to appreciate how unbelievably stunning they can be, especially when they can also be prone to iridescence, which sees flashes of color glint along their edges. Something truly amazing to witness. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.